How to explain to friends that I can do the technical part of making a website, but they have to come up with the content. Where I live the economy isn't great for people trying to get into the tech industry, and that was before COVID-19. I would be happy to make websites for free for my friends. This would give me experience and something to show prospective customers. One issue I'm running into is people don't realize they have to come up with the idea. If I do 100% everything then it really is my website. A lot of non-technical people don't understand why it doesn't work to just do something and then keep changing it until they're happy. Also many non-technical people don't know how things are connected together and changing one may affect the other. How do I explain the value in getting all the details finalized as much as possible before making any part of the website? In a way I am asking, how do you explain the importance of the requirements gathering phase and the prototyping phase to someone who isn't technical and not paying? As an example I'm trying to decide if WordPress would be a good fit for building my friend's website. He doesn't really have a clear enough idea yet to make the decision and he just keeps giving me half-baked ideas to add on. I'm not really comfortable finishing his ideas because I see that is his responsibility. As an example my friend wants a website where people can get a subscription to pet pictures. Then he wanted to add some music that he made. Then add short stories. Now it's barely even about pet pictures anymore. Bridging the gap between technical and non-technical is my specialty. It is literally what I do for a living. If you want to be in the business of doing sites for people, this may help. If you do not, it is okay to tell your friends you don't do that kind of thing anymore. I did that, with several friends, and said it exactly like that. Sorry, friend, I am totally wrapped up in, whatever applies here, these days so I'm not doing that anymore. Here are a series of steps I think will help you if you do want to get into that in a more structured way. Organize what you can and will do, and put that list on your own site or a document you can send to prospective clients, friends. Consider wording like, once you have developed your business plan. Establish an hourly rate you are comfortable with, maybe one for friends and one for strangers so friends feel like they are getting a great deal. If you want to just do it for experience, that is fine, but you will end up with a lot of the cat, story, music sites, which you aren't likely going to use for a portfolio. You mentioned meandering changes are a challenge, so a structured process is important here. Perhaps phases or iterations of their site from start to finish will help them organize that better. Check out this resource about Agile for web development. Also, in my experience, once people are paying, they have less changes. Consider an ending point with your friends with the pet picketer, music, stories who continue to wander aimlessly. Sure, I'll finish that up for you but once this phase is done I'm moving on to other work, especially if you are not being paid. Ultimately, it is very hard to explain how complex programming is. With that said, I would not recommend doing any of this for free, you will never get out of that thanks to your friends talking you up to their friends. If you feel like it is damaging to friendships to charge people, simply explain that you are not doing that kind of work on the side anymore, and refer them to someone you may know, or find someone, who does. Most importantly, don't feel bad. I've been there, you want to help but it ends up being a huge drain on time and resources, encourage their ideas and brainstorm with them when you hang out if you want to, but draw a clear line between casual conversation and paid work by making your distinction as a professional in the space.